Good morning. The time is 2.57 a.m. The time is 2.57 a.m. The date is the 1st of December 2019. The 1st of December 2019. 1-12-2019. The day is Sunday. Sunday. In Hebrew Acknology T993, if the soul is born to the male vessel, the soul is called Kwesi. If the soul is born to the female vessel, she is called Akosia. And the characteristics is said to be born leader, guide, and protector. My name is Kojo. It means I'm the Monday born. I have come to see the soul of Kwesi and Akosia on Sunday, their day. And they have something they want to talk to you about. If I was a female, I'd be Adowa. And our soul's characteristics is Bajo. That translates as the calm and peaceful children. The calm and peaceful children. The code breaker. Breaking Da Vinci's code. The code breaker, breaking Da Vinci's code. That's what they want to talk about today. They want to break Da Vinci's code. So, let's go straight to the point. Exodus 28 17 to 21. 17. And thou set in its settings of stone, even four rows of stones. The first row shall be a sadius, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This shall be the first row. 18. And the second row shall be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. 19. And the third row a ligure, and a gate, and an amethyst. 20. And the fourth row beryl an onyx and a jasper they shall be set in gold in their enclosings and the stones shall be with the names of the children of Israel what are we talking about we're talking about a system in the Bible called the Ephud the Ephud is a garment Worn by a Hebrew Levite high priest. The word high, because you can have priests, but the word high, yeah, the word high. So the, the priests that had the word high, there were very few. Yeah, there were very few. And they wore a garment called the Yafud. And to denote that they were not just ordinary priests, that they were high priests, they also wore a breastplate called the, um, the, the Aaronic breastplate, the Aaronic tongue. That is what I've just described to you in Exodus 28, 17. Now, the Bible tells um, an individual, listen carefully, um, who is a goldsmith, yeah? Because it tells the person to take gold and melt it into a particular shape, a three, by four grid adding to 12 yeah now in hebrew acknology t993 the word that um an automatic name that a king will get is otumfu otumfu but otumfu doesn't actually mean king otumfu means blacksmith so automatically whether you're an accountant or whatever yeah you, they forget about that when you become the Ashanti king you become a blacksmith because you are now going to put the nation together which this thing here in the Bible puts the 12 tribes together 
So the blacksmith, his job is to make this device here out of gold. But the Bible doesn't say that the gold, listen carefully, um, was given to the um, person by God. Or that all these jewels, that the 12 jewels the person has to put on there was given to the person by God. No, the Bible simply says, God said, take from upon your land, what's upon your land in previous verses, yeah? So these were available on the person's land, yeah? The person took it and followed instructions. We got that four. Now the Bible also tells you that the person was instructed to then give this device to a gentleman by the name of Aaron, a Hebrew Levite high priest. And the Bible tells you that this device is a communication device by way of decision making. You cannot arrive to any decision without communication. So that's what the Bible says. Now, understand this, yeah? Um, when I read the verses of the Bible to you, 17 to 21, I read them in a language called English. Yeah, English. Now, English is formed from a system called the alphabet system. Don't worry, we're following a template because I've got everything laid out and as I'm looking at it, I'm, t I'm talking to you about it. And I'll move on to the next one. We'll talk about that. But it follows a pattern. Yeah. English comes from a system called the alphabet system. The alphabet system. Now, understand this here. Yeah? The word alphabet is not English. It's actually Greek. There are two words. Alpha and the word bet. Two separate words. One denotes A to Z, alphas. The other denotes one to nine, bet. Any other number other than one to nine is a repetition. Forget zero, I'll tell you about zero later. Yeah? Okay, cool. So understand this, yeah? In the alphabet, of the English people, of the English language, the language I read to you in. You say A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. You never say one number. Thus, it means there are no bets within their alphas. Therefore, they only have an alpha system. So you're not actually speaking an alphabet system. You're speaking an alpha system, and then you speak a bet separate. That's why English is separate from maths. So now the question remains here. Yeah? Where am I taking this? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. You have a three by four grid. Yeah, you have a three by four grid. Now, like I said, you read, I read to you in English and I'm speaking to you in English. So how would Aaron use that grid? Yeah, whatever language he was talking in, how would he use that grid to communicate? And that grid, that, that particular um, a food, was meant to be a device that God used to communicate with the high priests and instructed them to give his orders. Okay, since we read in English, why don't we replace each stone? Yeah, and then we may, we may. Yeah, discover yeah how because the Bible also says money is the root to all evil all these gems on there they they their class is the root to all evil because they their currency but watch this but watch this what if yeah we we're, we're being blinded with gems and underneath the gems if we just swipe away the money and forget the money the real information will be there so get this in grid number one yeah which is Sadius, put the number one. And grid number two, Topaz, put the number two and the following alpha alphas. So you got the bet two, A, B, C. And grid number three, three, carbon call, D, E, F. Grid number four, G, H, I, Emerald. Grid number five, J, K, L, Sapphire. Listen to grid number six very carefully, please. Grid number six, M N O 
put the um, the gem diamond okay diamond okay grid number seven pqrs liga grid number eight tuv agate grid number nine wxyz amethyst grid number ten yeah put a padlock barrel grid number eleven put zero onyx grid number 12 jasper put what today you will call the hashtag sign okay now understand this we have letters and bets the bets quantify the letters so your letters are now quantifiable and and you're now working within a template but a template that gives you alphas and bets. This is the phonetic system. Now let's see, yeah, what's next? Tribes and systems. Tribes and systems. I'm going to name some tribes and then I'm going to tell you what their systems are. And I want you to compare the differences. Tribes and systems. Tribes. We have Akans, Akanology. We have Egyptians, Egyptology. I'm talking about ancient Egyptians. We have Grecians. We have Freemasons. And then we have English. Systems. Watch. Akanology uses phonetic, alphabetic. Egyptology, phonetic, alphabetic. Grecians, phonetic, alphabetic. Freemasons, phonetic, alphabetic. English, alpha. Alpha characters. Akinology has 22 alphabetic characters. Egyptology has 22 alphabetic characters. Grecians have 22 alphabetic characters. Freemasons have 22 alphabetic characters. English has 26. But watch this. <coughs> History says that Aristotle, Plato and them man there, at one stage, they, they never had a writing system. And they went to Egypt. And for 15 years, they were tutored in Egypt by the Egyptians. Yeah? And by the time they finished tutoring them, they had given them not a language, but a system for documenting their language. That, that, yeah, is exactly what the Greeks took that made the Greeks phonetics. They then taught that system to the Freemasons who were the leaders of the English. But instead of them teaching the same system to their people, they added four more characters and lied that is an alphabetic character. But when it's not, because they haven't quantified it, the importance of that will come in a minute. Okay. God, yeah, God, okay, Iconology doesn't believe in the word God, because the word God is an English word, but watch, Egyptology believes in the word God, and has a God, his name is Amon Ra, Grecians studied from Egyptology, they also have a God, his name is Zeus, but his name is Zeus Ra because history will also tell you that Zeus is the same person they call Amun Ra only when they brought the story to Greek they painted them to suit them but in the writings and history they won't lie about that but in the pictorials they do okay Freemasons also believe in Zeus Amun Ra English some believe in Jesus Christ, some believe in Zeus Ra, yeah, but they don't know because to actually believe in this guy, Amon Ra, just believing in him is not enough. You have to join, you have to join a society that actually, that actually lives by his rules. Okay, 
But a canonology alone that doesn't believe in God gets a tick over there. But, but, believes in an Omni. Omni. And the Omni's name is Nyame. Nyame. Okay. Let's move on. Next one. We're breaking Da Vinci's code. Okay. We're now going to look at systems again. Iconology, Egyptology, Grecians, and Freemasons all believe, listen carefully, all believe that Sunday is the first day of the week. Today is the 1st of December 2019, Sunday. Four systems believe that the sun came first. Yes, the sun's day, the sun came first. The Bible tells you the sun came first. Logic tells you the sun came first. Four systems. All four, three believe in one God. Yeah, the same God. Who was a human who was a human who died and claims to be a God. One believes in an omni who has never lived on this planet. Who they've never seen, but they know exists. They believe in an omnipotent creator. Nyame. But they also believe along with the other three that the sun came first the sun came first but understand this history will tell you where grecians became phonetics where freemasons became phonetic but history won't tell you where egyptology became phonetic but history will also won't tell you how Akans became phonetic but it seems yeah Somewhere along the line, a family member of Egyptology has been ignored, but he's speaking the same language as Egyptology. So if you want to explain Egyptology, but let's carry on. Yeah, let's carry on. The sun came first. So all four believe that. But English alone, listen carefully, English alone believes that Monday came first. But the English is ruled by who? By the Freemasons. So they know the truth, but they hide it from their people. Okay. We're breaking Da Vinci's code. We're coming to it, don't worry. But why would they put Monday first? Their god is called Ah Mon. Yeah? Understand? The name Ah Mon is not English, is Egyptology, is Phoenician. Therefore, a can we don't say a, we say a, we, instead of a, we say a bird. It's the proper way of pronouncing it. So did the Egyptians, and that's what they taught the Greeks, and that's what the Greeks taught the Freemasons, and the Freemasons only teach a bird in private schools. But get this, they made Monday. Why? Because you see in a can, if we say um, um, ah something, so a ah, boy, yeah, what it actually translates as is a boy, but we put it together. So Amon ah, is not Amon, ah, it's Amon in English. So a Monday soul, a mon soul. Why? Because their God lived. He was born in one of those seven days. And he was born on Amon. Yeah, he lived. And it was impossible that your God, yeah, once you've accepted him to be God, to have been born, yeah, after the sun was born. Because your God was meant to have created the sun. So they promoted their God on top of everyone. But understand, now that you know the phonetic grid can be numerically quantified, understand his name, Amon. A is two. M is six. O is six. N is six. A six six six. Amon.
So, we have here two charts. The first chart is called the Sun Low Week chart, where Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is accepted by Achonology, Egyptology, Grecians, and Freemasons. Okay, that's the Sun Low chart. Okay, the second chart is the Onus week chart where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is accepted only by the English who are led by the Freemasons who know the truth. Okay. So, what is the difference between the Sun Low yeah, chart and the Onus chart. Well, the sun low chart is the way nature puts it. The sun came first and everything else followed and the human was created on the sixth day. The Onus chart puts it that a man, a man was created first and then he created everything. Somehow he created himself and then created everything and then he put the growth hormone, the sun, the photosynthesis, the growth, the only one that actually provides growth. He put that last. Okay. The system two, the owner's chart, puts him first. Why? Because their God comes up. Okay. Human order, you call that. Now, I want you to understand this word or this phrase the onus lies on you the onus lies on you onus the word onus is o-n-u-s and this phrase is actually a legal phrase and it is the first legal phrase that any lawyer yeah or anyone practicing law should know why because the word owners denotes responsibility. Responsibility. So understand this. If someone's trying to lie to you, yeah, the onus is not on that person to tell the truth. The onus is on you to discover that you're being lied to and stop it. And this is law. If you don't know, yeah, until you know, even if the law knows, yeah, you see the law, sometimes it knows someone's committing a crime on you. But you haven't reported and no one has. And the law does not have the rights to incriminate another. Unless if the police see it. But the system itself will allow it to go through. The onus is on you. What does this mean? Well, they changed, they changed yeah, the natural order to put a human above nature. Therefore, a human gives us everything. So the onus is on us that when we discover this, that we change it. Okay. Let's carry on. His name is Amon Ra. Let's go to the grid. A M O N Amon Ra R A. The code will be 2666 Amon and Ra 72. Now that you've got the grid, you can actually plot Amon Ra. You can plot it. Because A is always going to be in the same spot, M O N is always going to be in the same spot and RA is always going to be the same spot you put the spots in and you join them as the word follows so now you have the alpha yeah the alpha value of Amon Ra and then you have the bet value of Amon Ra together you have the alphabetic value of Amon Ra but get this you see the alphabetic value of Amon Ra yeah it is also the password 
yeah, to anything that may be hidden, yeah, within the name Amon Ra. Because remember, he is the God of hiding. Now understand this. He is the God of Egyptology, Grecians, Freemasons, some English people. Okay, good. Now, you see the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah? I want you to write. Yeah? Remember, we're speaking the ironic tongue. Okay. So write their, their name Romans. R O M A N S. Yeah? R O M A N S. Good. The code is 76267. Yeah, 76267. Six, Amon. Their name is basically, yeah, Amon Ra's name. Yeah, just um, mixed together to show, yeah, who they believe in. Don't worry. If it sounds strange to you, don't let it. We're, we're going on. Watch. Okay. Next one. Masons. Next grid. Masons. Write their name. M-A-S-O-N. If you say plural, Masons, add the S. Yeah? The code is 627667. Again, you see Masons. Yeah, the word may not relate it. Yeah, the alpha. That's why they took away the bets. The alpha may not relate it to the Masons. And the alpha may not relate both of them to Amon Ra. But now you realize, yeah, the Romans is just basically Amon Ra's name. Yeah, hidden. The Masons is basically Amon Ra's name, hidden. So they, he is the god of the Masons and the Romans. Yeah, and they denote that by using his name, but they just mix it together. Okay, moving on. The Mormons, yeah. Remember, Joseph Smith, the founder of the Mormons, yeah. He, he, he himself, yeah, um, was a Monday born. Understand that? He was a Monday born. And he was a Mason, a free Mason. So when he discovered that the God, yeah, that they were lying about and talking about in both circles um, was Amon Ra, and then discovered that, hold on, Amon Ra is basically a soul because the guy lived and died. So it is his soul we're worshipping. So if it's the Monday soul and I'm a Monday born, it means I'm the reincarnation of the God we worship. Worship me. They said no. He turned around, formed his own thing, and called them M-O-R, more, more, months. Yeah, more, months. Why? Because he's saying that he, he is another man. He, Joseph Smith, is another man. And how do I prove this? He then wrote a testament, a testament, yeah, to Jesus Christ. But then get this. He wrote a testament to Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's saying that he, he can testify that he's been here before, done it before. And now he's doing it differently. They killed him. They killed him. He was revealing secrets. But when he died, they buried him. Not in a tomb like Jesus Christ, whom he claimed to be. They buried him in a pyramid like Amun Ra the code for Mormons is 6676667 more Amuns you can plot that too now um, next one remember I told you yeah the god of hiding he hides okay Go back to the God of Hyden, take his name. Yeah, his name is Amon Ra. So we're going to discover where Amon Ra is hidden. Now, I want you 
to now concentrate on Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Painting of Knowledge. Knowledge. The Painting of Knowledge. Her name is the Mona Lisa. She's kept in a glass pyramid called the Louvre Array. Underneath are all our Moraz artifacts. So let's go into it. M O N A Mona Lisa L I S A. The code 6662 Mona 5472 Lisa. Can you see? 6662 is the reverse of 2666 Ah Mon. And 54 is the lie L I and 72 is basically the same as saying. R A Ra. So Amon Ra is hidden behind the Mona Lisa. Amon Ra, the god of hiding, is hidden behind the Mona Lisa. What is the significance? In what I have just told you. Okay, we're going to unravel the first part of the blueprint to do with Mona Lisa. Like I told you, the name, the name, yeah? You are told the name, and whenever you spell the name, you spell Alpha. But you're thinking you're spelling Alphas and Bets, but you're not. But now when you apply the values of the Alphas, you are truly dealing in alphabets. So now, Mona Lisa 6662 5472. Yeah, this code, yeah, these two codes open up to Leonardo's da Vinci's blueprint. Everything to do with the Mona Lisa. For the last 500 years, what they've been building up to. And I'm going to prove it all behind the painting of knowledge. Watch. 6662-5472 Mona opens to the word nonce N-O-N-C Nonce A nonce is someone who, you know, rapes little kids You know, or sexualizes little kids And then tells you it's okay Yeah, for their own sexual pleasure Yeah, nonce Now, I want you to understand, yeah You see Amon Ra, his name, yeah it's 2666. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. 218. Bring the zero that comes after the padlock in front of 2. You have 2018. 2018 was Armon Ra's year. And I'm going to prove it to you. That was last year. Because I'm going to reveal everything they did in their blueprint that was masterpieced 500 years back by, yeah, a broken hearted. Leonardo da Vinci. Watch. 2018, Theresa May got rid of all the nuns files in England, giving them a break. Remember, Theresa May's dad, yeah, is actually caught up in this whole mess. Him and all his friends, and they were all priests, Church of Anglican priests. The Pope, the Church of Catholicism, the same scenario. They keep apologizing for it. But then they keep doing the eyes and putting it to their eyes as if to tell you, yeah, the secret is in the eyes and you never knew whose eyes. Let's keep on going. Lisa, L-I-S-A, 5472, opens up to the word lesbian. In 2018, the lesbian movement overshadowed the feminist movement every time women got up to do something yeah they 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 relaxed why because they saw a powerful group of women willing that didn't have kids listen women wanted to take action yeah and a powerful group of women that um, took action took over so the women who had kids that actually wanted a real action sat back home thinking these young ones are doing it but these young ones were exactly there to push them back home because get this if you got tired enough you would take your kids onto the streets to protest 
and you take them out of schools. The schools that are trying to destroy them with necessary. In 2018, yeah, being heterosexual became hazardous. You couldn't speak. That was our man's year. It was set in the trap. Okay. Now, we're going to use a system. Yeah? A system called the Aurora Rim. Now, understand this. All you did there, yeah, was take Mona Lisa, yeah? You get 6662, 5472. And then you went backwards to get 2666, Armon. Yeah? It, this is called mirror reflecting. English people write from the left to the right. Muslims write from the right to the left. If you claim God gave you a language and it only writes one way, I'd question it. I'd question it. It should write every way. And you will realize that this language writes every way. Okay. So flip it. Mirror, reverse. Rora, rim. Now we get 2666, 2745. And then the first word we get is Anun Asil. Well, we may not know what that means in Egyptology or in Grecian, but we know what it means in Akanology. Anun means mouth, inside the mouth. A means A. Nun means mouth. Yeah? Asi means under. So we're going deep. 2666, 2745. The next word, listen carefully. The next word is B O O M for boom space B R I L. Boom brill. You could say boom brilliant. But I put it to you that that stands for boom British land. Why? In 2018, yeah, the Queen, the Queen became, yeah, how much? 88 billion pounds worth. She received a boost. Why? Because she worships the god of boom. Amon. Amon is boom. That's why when, whenever someone booms, all it is, they receive a cash injection. Money injection. M-O-N. Mon. 666. Money. The root to all evil. Boom brilliant. The queen. Boom British land. But boom British land will suggest that the whole of Brit and Britain got a boom. No. If you're not part of the Armon club. Yeah. You would not receive a share of this pie. That they planned. Way back 500 years ago. That they've been building towards. You would not receive it. So this is not for the British people. Or the English people. This is for the Armand Club, the Masons, the Romans. Boom, British land. It happened. How? They installed Armand Ra. Who is Armand Ra? Theresa May. Why? Theresa May, yeah, is a Monday born. You may not be working to the system, but they are. Because they're Masons. So they work to the soul system. Theresa May is a Monday born. So, in the year 2018, her birthday yeah, actually landed on a Monday. So, she, yeah, in Armand's year, yeah, aligned perfect. Everything about her was 666. Her being put into power was not an accident. You were duped. She had been prepped. What did she do to boom them? The first thing she'd done was take the police up the streets after her husband and, her, and his croonies, all masons, had invested heavily in private prisons. And then she blamed everything on immigration and suppressed nine different reports that said that immigration was not a cause and factor of any problems within England. Why? Because they were about to drain the British, the English people into the Masonic pot. Boom, brill. Only for the Masons. Why? Your kids were about to become victims 
of stabbings, victims of crimes, victims of whatever. Some are going to die, but majority are going to end up behind prisons with criminal records. And the prisons will just turn in money. Boom, bro. When she wore that bracelet, Frida Kahlo bracelet, people did not realize what it meant. But I won't go into that now. But you see Frida Kahlo, you see her name. Yeah, you see her name. Yeah, Frida. And then the word Kahlo, if you put it into this system, it gives you the word J-Lo. So Frida J-Lo. She was actually giving them a signal that the Joes are free to, to act. So check the actions. Yeah, the acts that were taken after that and before that. Okay. The next one. Yeah, the next one. 2666-2745. Opens up to the word con ash l con c o n n con as in to to dupe someone yeah but it's all yeah the god of con yeah con ash l who is ash l i put it to you ash l is ashanti land because you see when 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 you when you've been sat on gold yeah for thousands of years they will know about you even 500 years ago. Yeah? So, they planned 500 years ago to con Ashanti land. Because they've been trying and it's been long succeeding. But they finally plan on taking over. So, you see, in 2018 and before 2018, they employed the services of a guy by the name of Nam Bakupe Nam One. Nam One was born, yeah, on the 16th of May, 1983. A Monday born. He's Kojo. He's a Mon. He's a 666. They then trained him and gave him the pyramidic system. Yeah, which allows you to understand how the, um, the pyramid system of investment works and how you cash out and run. They made him operate. Yeah, and they backed him and backed him and backed him. The whole system was involved, all the governments were involved previous and current were involved and then they backed and backed and backed and backed in the year of Amon in Kojo's year he packed up in 2018 in 2666 in Amon he packed up and run Kon Ashanti land how did that happen they also installed a king his name is 1999 flip 999 yeah upside down they installed him in 1666 but understand this to commemorate this yeah they introduced a 100 pound sorry a 100 cd note and to commemorate Armon, they introduced a 200 cd note in 2019 and then they introduced Masonic symbols onto the note because they think they have finally sold us out from underneath us. But watch. Con Ash L, this kin allowed Galam Say, Galam Say, to, to arrive, yeah, the Ashanti land. And this Galam Say robbed Ashanti land of over 350 trillion dollars worth of gold wealth natural resources they then used this this their stolen gold to back nam one to 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 get the trust of many ghanaians abroad who are gagging to to you know reap the little investment the little you know property that they have to call their own but now get this they when they came to bring their money they were conned but now they're inviting, yeah, our American brothers and sisters. I'm so happy they're coming. But they're inviting them, but they're inviting the wrong ones. They're inviting, yeah, all the wrong ones. They're inviting club members to come and take a piece of their pie. Because ordinary Americans who should be coming to take advantage may not be in a position to afford it. The ones that are coming, yeah. Anyway, so watch this. 
He, he, our man, conned Ashanti just like Leonardo da Vinci planned it in the painting of knowledge. She leans on a ledge. Why? Because she's saying what you know about me will give you a ledge over the others. That's why, understand this, yeah? When you, when you, when you worship Amon Ra, when you are a mason, you are successful. When you worship Jesus Christ and you are not aware to join the masons, yeah? You're always praying for some. Because you have to join the brotherhood and sacrifice and give and be owned. And then, 2666, Ah, Amon, the God of the Masons and the Romans and all of them lot, the Mormons and all of them lot. 72 Ra, Ah, Amon Ra. He is the God of COM, C-O-M-M, communication. The God of A-M-M-O, ammonia. The God of Bono, B-O-N-O. -O. That's why Bono always wears his glasses. You see the word common? Yeah? Everyone says, oh, this is so common. It's a lie. Apply the numerics and now you're going to find out, yeah? that common actually means amon on sense so common sense means if you had common sense you would be a mason corner shanti happened boom bro happened yeah and there's more to come you see when the masons came to ghana yeah um they brought their Bible to con the Ashantis way back then. The Ashantis weren't having it. But eventually, yeah, they broke our ranks and the Ashantis decided, yeah, that they were going to have it. But they thought they'd got rid of all our Hebrew Levite high priests. But one day, yeah, the Ashantis went up to them and went, okay, sir, okay, sir, listen, we need you to translate your Bible into our language. Therefore, we can all join. They made a bloody sacrifice. Why? Because to save lives, yeah, they just put their people in it, knowing that one day Nanenyame will speak. So they asked them, okay, in, your, in our Bible, yeah, we have a guy. His name is the devil. And he has the mark. And the mark of 666. And, and they said, yeah, that's the guy that you said is going to come and tear, destroy and break and, you know, rape. Just like you're doing. Enslave our kids and this. Just like you're doing. They said, yeah, but don't worry. Us, yeah, we're not killing you all, are we? But when they come, yeah, when he comes, he'll kill you all. So, yeah, you, 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 better, you better be happy with us. My people said, okay, cool. You see that guy with 666? Yeah, call him Bon Sam. He said, what? He said, call him Bon Sam. He said, how do you spell Bon Sam? He said, be o ne s a me He said, what? B-O-N-S-A-M. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Well, oh, you want to call him Bon Sam? Yeah, we'll call him Bon Sam. Cool. The code for Bon Sam is 266726. Now, understand this, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mon Ra yeah, is what? 266672. Two. So let's go into it. Put a mirror reflection to Bon Sam. You're going to get M A S N O B. Mace No B. Mace Nob. Yeah? May snob. Okay. What's the code going to be? The code is going to be the exact opposite of Bonsam. M A S N O B is 627662. May snob. Now, you're saying, but that doesn't say Mason B. You are very close. It, it sounds like Mason, but it's not Mason from Britain. And I say, okay. 
So what is the code for Mason B? Mason from Britain. M A S O N B. The code is 627662, the same as Mace no B. Why? The secret is in the word on and the word no. The code is 66 for both. The code is 66 for both. The pictorial secret is in when you see the picture of the Baphomet and he holds two fingers up. 66 people think it is. And he holds two fingers down. 66 people think it is. Technically, they are. 66 up, 66 down. But it's not. What he's actually representing is six hours, six hours. Yeah? Because you have 24 hours of the day. You have um, 12 hours moonlight. But it's spread between um, six hours and six hours. Even in the night. 12 hours. And then you have 12 hours daylight. That's also um, morning, 6 hours, afternoon to evening, 6 hours. 12 hours. So 6, 6, 12 hours up. 6, 6, 12 hours down. Yeah? It is to say that he is the god of the moon and the god of the sun. He, Amon, yeah, is god of everything. The beast. So how did my people, yeah, represent it? Well, first they wrote down who their devil is. Their devil was simply the Mason from Britain. So they wrote down M-A-S-N-O-B, Mason B. Then they said, okay, but he will know. So someone said, yeah, okay. So put a mirror to Mason B. And then you're going to get Mace Nob. Okay, but, um, sorry, and, and then you're going to get Mason B, but hold on, that's too close. And then someone said, well, no is on, and on is no, 66 as they've done it, hands up, 66 as they've done it, hands down, we can change it, yes and no. So, Mace on, Mace no. Okay, 66, but it's too, too close, Mace no B. That's when someone said, yeah, put a mirror to that then. You get born Sam, the Mason from Britain, yeah, who were, who were the people who colonized my country and destroyed and ripped and took and stole, yeah. These were our devils. These were our devils. The Bible, the tree Bible is telling you who the devil is. The next one is the mark of man, the erotic tongue. I want you to understand this, yeah? There are seven days in a week, yeah? Seven days in a week, starting on Sunday. Now that you've got the grid in front of you, let, let's start on Sunday, but we're not going to go through all of it. We're just going to go through Sunday and Monday, yeah? Um, the word day appears seven times. It's insignificant. It just describes... Um, yeah, the day. But the significant word is the name of the day. The name of the day is Sun. The name of the day is Mun. Yeah? So the name of the day is Sun is S U N. Now we know the code for S is 7, U is 8, and N is 6. But get this the, um, the Bible tells us that you got Ligur, yeah, in 7, Agate in 8. And diamond in six. So to spell, yeah, sun in the ironic tongue, you take three gems, Liga, a gate, and diamond. And that will represent Sunday. So what would you do for Monday? Monday is M O N. M O N is 666. The box number six is diamond diamond so you will take three diamonds to represent the monday born but understand this the word diamond you see princess diana yeah they killed her didn't they 
yeah take d and i and the last d you see the last d or d in general is three so it will be d i e die for princess diana yeah and what's remaining the god of the masons and the god of the romans and the god of the um mormons and the god of all of them Amon. his name is hidden within the gem and he is rested on the only gem yeah the only space that contains three diamonds why because they call him a god and if you are a god then you have to be the god of clarity and diamond is the clearest form of um, um, earthly gems we've got and he's three of them no one else is 666 the beast The code for diamond is 3426663. Amon. The code for demon. Understand this. The word demon, yeah, is D E M O N. D E is 33, 33, 33 degrees, 666, 33 degree mon carry on everything related to Amon the word monster Theresa May was a monster Namwan was a monster M-O-N-S-T-R S-T-E-R 666-7837 but we have monster which is M O N S T A R 6667827 The word devil D E V I L Reflect that you get the word lived 33845 three, devil 54833 three, three, lived 33 degrees at the beginning for devil 33 degrees at the end for live why because you're burning the candle of both ends during the day you're a mason yeah you're a catholic priest you pretend to be a pious person you pretend to be a good person yeah but during the night when all has been entrusted in your hands and all eyes are closed you start fiddling and fingering little babies Burning the candle at both ends. Amon. Okay. The word money. M O N E Y. 66639. The money is the root to all evil. That's why you had to clear the gems in order to discover this. Boomed. B O O M E D. 266633. When you boomed, like Jay Z boomed. Because Jay Z and Beyonce, they know, they know about um, what you call it, about um, the Mona Lisa. They went to pay homage, and then they went to see Armon Ra. So they boomed, and now they're offering Rolexes as invitation cards. When I'm finding it hard to print a poster to inform you of their evil deeds, you understand what I'm saying? Mad boomed, Armond. That's what boomed is. Amond, A M O N E D, two six six six, three three. Amond, he Amond, he accepted it. He bent over. He got fucked. The word common sense, like I said, they say common sense, but common. The word common, they lied to you. They made you think that if something's common, it means it means it's everywhere. But the point is, yeah. The code is two six 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 cents seven three six seven three. If you had common sense, you will be part of the Armon Club. If you had common sense, because common ain't so common. Common is the only thing that you don't find so common. Yet they tell you it's common. Common sense, Armon on sense. Now, we move on to the table of chaos. 
Yeah. The chaos table. What I'm going to teach you here is exactly the template upon which they are working. But from the Egyptology angle. Yeah. Okay. We, iconology, we believe in seven souls. Seven souls. And we believe that each soul, yeah, each soul has um, a name, characteristics. But get this, there are only seven split into two sexes. So the same soul can either appear in a boy or in a girl. If it appears in a girl, a different name. If it appears in a boy, a different name. You get that? Okay. So what I'm going to do in order to teach you this one is to take you through the oh yeah through the um, seven days starting on Sunday. Boy, girl. That's how I'm going to do it. Boy, girl. Boy, girl. Yeah. Sunday. Kwesi Akosua, born leader, guide, protector. Monday. Kojo Adowa, calm, peaceful. Tuesday, Kwabena Abena, warrior, fierce, compassionate. Wednesday, Kweku Ikuya, advocate, controlling. Thursday, Yao, Ya, confrontational, aggressive. Friday, Kofi, Ifia, creative, adventurous, and innovative. Saturday, Kwame, Kwame, Ama, the ancient wise one. So, I want you to draw a grid. It's going to be a seven across and two down. So, seven grids going across. Remember, we work to a template here. Seven grids going across and two down. The names I mentioned to you, they all have spellings, but I want you to understand, we're only taking the initials, yeah, the initials, so the first initials of the boy and the first initial of the girl. You're going to have seven going across and two down. At the top, we're going to put the boys, at the bottom, the girls. So at the top, you should have KKKKYKK. K K K K four Y one K K two six K and Y one one Y at the bottom you should have A A A A and Y nine and sorry one Y A A so six A's and one Y the Y is Thursday both Thursdays are Y so we have all the initials in the box starting from Sunday now using the grid you're going to put the numeric value so K to the power of 5 Y to the power of 9 A to the power of 2 Y to the power of 9 these these this grid is called a soul grid the soul chart so how does it work first take the first initial K put it down take the second initial A put it down take the third initial Y you got the word K. We are all from the family of K. Is either your initial is K, A or Y. When you put that together, we're all from the family of K. The initial from the family for the family of K is K A Y. And the code for the family of K is 529. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm going to explain where the word chaos comes from yeah cool now that you've got this drawn up the family of K should look like this we're going to do a little bit of maths so K 5 equals 5 times 6 there are um, 6 K 5s. 5 times 6 equals 30 a 2 equals 2 times 6 equals 12 y 9 equals 9 times 2 equals 18 add 30 12 and 18 you get 60 now understand zero came after the padlock 
zero came after the padlock so zero is a number you can cancel just like an algebra so cancel zero and you will find that you've only got the number six m o n what is significant about the number six well humanity was created on the sixth day so when we added the soul of humanity we ended up back on the final day Oh, sorry, on the day where humanity was created, was given a soul. Number six, M-N-O. So now, we're trying to spell the word chaos. So we've got the word K-A-Y, we're looking for O. Six is M-N-O. So now, spell the word K-A-Y-O. K -A -Y -O. Now, how do we get S to make it chaos? And actually have a word that sounds like the word chaos there are seven days because there's a grid of seven seven is on key number seven and the, the alphas are p q r s so now we've got k a y o s chaos why does this one make more sense let me explain it to you it's because you see if chaos is going to be caused it's going to be caused by one of us yeah, one of us, Theresa May, Nam One, the King, yeah, the Queen, yeah, and many, many, many more others. And they, they strategically, yeah, position their chaos causes, yeah, but secretly and without you understanding. So, in the year 1999, they were going to cause chaos. How? By installing King Os in the year 1999 to 2000 they scared us and told us yeah, that there was going to be a problem and the problem was going to revolve around the computer the communication system and they said this problem was going to be called y2k y2k yeah y2k the code for y2k will be 925 y2k 925 okay so understand this what is y2k yeah let's do the mirror reflection room y2k is yak why because 2 is a b c you can't have y c k or y b k it's not a word it doesn't make sense consonants and vowels so is y a k yak but get this, what is yak? If you put the mirror reflection to yak, all you're going to get is K. K-A-Y. Y2K is K-A-Y. It was them employing the chaos system, the acknology system. At the same time, they installed a king who was a mason. In the year 166, in the year 1999 1999 they caused y2k they caused k using the acknology system chaos now you're saying to yourself shut up mate how about the word chaos c h a o s okay now you understand the word chaos from the dictionary but the dictionary um doesn't apply the bets so the dictionary is giving you the alpha explanation and the alpha explanation is not what's set in stone this language i'm giving you is the language of stone therefore everything that's written in it is set in stone you can't change it so watch if they claim that their language is alphabetic then watch the true meaning of the word c-h-a-o-s yeah c-h-a-o-s chaos is 24267 well the code 24267 opens up to the word c-h-a-m-p champ champ the beginnings of the word champion because you see the word ion i-o-n is a separate word because you can be a champ a champ is someone who wins some and quits on the rest but to be a champion is you have to follow through so when they set the rules they knew that they were lying about chaos and they knew that if you were able to discover the true origins of the word chaos 
then you would understand that C-H-A-O-S is basically saying when you discover this fact, then you are literally the champion of chaos. The champion of chaos. If you look on her shoulders, Mona Lisa, she wears a crown on the shoulder she presents to you. She crosses her arm, yeah, on a ledge. On a ledge. She wears a veil, yeah, a black veil, a veil of death. Behind her, yeah, is, is a kingdom of nothing. Why? Because it is a god that's stuck in the year 2018 they burnt down the Notre Dame and saved and saved the crown and saved the crown well the Mona Lisa wears that crown on her shoulders I wear my heart on my sleeves I wear my heart on my shoulders I wear my crown on my shoulder why? because I I'm a god who is in hiding with the all-seeing eye. That's why the Mona Lisa looks at you in every corner you turn. Now understand this, yeah? I want Ghanaians to understand that the con is ongoing, yeah? Listen to this. When the last time a Mason was in power, yeah? Was Kufour, yeah? A Masons have been in power since. But Kufour was the major one, yeah? He was so major that afterwards they made him the Grand Master of Africa. But what is one of the major things Kufour did? He tampered with the Ghanaian money. He tampered with it. It benefited them. He paid a lot into it. The Ghanaian people thought he was saving Ghana. Yeah, he added a lot of zeros that came out of nowhere. And took out a lot of zeros that came out of nowhere. And then, because the people that set the currency rules knew exactly how beneficial it would be to them, they rewarded it. But to be in the Masons is a competition. So the current president, yeah, the current president, with all his promises at the beginning, he knew exactly what he was doing. He was going to sell us out. The greatest thing you can achieve as a mason is by giving them power over money, power over our mon in your country. And he's basically sold us to them and commemorated them with a 200 city note, a 2 city coin and a 100 city, all related to our mon. Jesus Christ said, the truth hurts. Yeah. Jesus Christ said, the truth hurts. Let me tell you something, yeah? it is true, the truth doesn't hurt. You see, when you apply true alphabetics, yeah, you see the word truth is T-R-U-T-H. The code, the code is 87874. The, the code for the word hurt is H-U-R-T-T, -T, sorry, alpha. H-U-R-T-T -T, Double T I'll tell you why Watch But it will still be pronounced Hurt The code is 48788 It's basically the truth Yeah Mingled round And you will never discover that Until you look into the bets of it The truth does hurt It is true The day Jesus Christ comes And he tells the truth About what it is you really don't know yeah, then boom ting, you're gonna get mad. You're gonna get mad. We're moving on. Revelations 13:18, wisdom. Revelations 13:18, wisdom. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has the understanding calculate the number of the beast, for the number is that of a man, and his number is. 600, 3 score and 6. 600, 3 score and 6. Okay, we're going to do a bit of maths here, yeah? Because he said, let he who has the understanding calculate the number of the beast, right? 
all right let's 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 go yeah first i need you to write down the word 600 s-i-x-h-u-n-d-r-e-d -E and then equal 600 the number the numeric 600 underneath that i need you to write the word three score equal 60 underneath that i need you to write the word 60 sorry six 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 yeah just six equals six now i need you to rewrite that this time just numerics 660 and six next to each other so 600 space 60 space six below that i need you to write 600 space 60 space six this time round, i need you to cancel six sorry i need you to cancel zero zero and zero so 600 cancel zero zero 60 cancel zero underneath that and i need you to write six 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 we have derived the number of the beast just following this simple rule let's go deeper into it okay the word 600 it has yeah it's alpha value because s-i-x has s has an alpha value so the word 600 its alpha value is seven nine four four eight six three seven three three when you add all these together you get 54 600 equals 54 move on to the next one three score three score equals a score means 20 in england a score means 20 pound note so a score means 20 so three score means 20 times 3 equals 60 60 so 60 is s i x t i t y sorry 74989 when you add all those you get 37 moving on to the next one is 6 7 plus 4 plus 9 equals 20 listen carefully 54 plus 37 plus 20 equals 1 1 1 the number of the holy trinity so working out and calculating the number of the beast 666 we have derived the number of the holy trinity the father the son and the holy spirit now watch one 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 number of the holy trinity plus six 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 number of the beast one plus six seven one plus six seven one plus six seven equals seven 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 is in the bible the perfect number seven is the perfect number the number of perfection the number of god so through the number of the beast we have derived the number of the holy trinity through the addition of the holy trinity and the beast we have derived the number of perfection the number of god the number of seven seven days in a week okay help me now we carry on calculating one plus one plus one plus six plus six plus six plus seven plus seven plus seven, plus seven equals 40 Two. So now I won't go into this one. You need to go and read Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. My name is Kojo. Means I'm a Monday boy. My alpha is M O N. My bet is 666. My gem is diamond, diamond, diamond. My characteristics are calm and peaceful sea. Calm and peaceful child. Breaking Da Vinci's code. You see, um, Da Vinci, he wrote many codes, so let me give you another one. 
Okay, let me give you another one of his codes. Um, we have the picture called the Mona Lisa, which we've just spoken about. And then we have the picture called the Last Supper. The Last Supper. The Last Supper. So, I need you to write down the word or the name of the painting, The Last Supper. Give me two seconds. Okay. So, the painting is called The Last Supper. The Last Supper. The code for the Last Supper is 843 the 5278 last 78737 supper okay so we're going i'm going to go through what these codes open up to and i'm going to show you the blueprints of the church the romans the armons okay thai lapped pura the last supper so the the following sentence i give you is the same as saying in bets in alphabets the last supper tie as in to tie something with a rope lapt l-a-p-t yeah and pure as in when something is pure yeah good next one is vi lav shure but the word shure is the beginning of, of the word surreptitious surreptitious but what does the word vi mean v-i-e what does the word v-i-e mean it means yeah to contend for superiority over one another to contend for superiority over one another so vi lav shure Vai lav shure. Okay. The next one, yeah, will be Vai lav purses. You see your purse? Yeah, the purse you have. Yeah, purses. Yeah. So you go to the church. Yeah. You go to the church. And they say you're pure. And then they tie you. Yeah, to be sure. Vai lav shure, shalom tishu, secrecy. Shalom tishu speaks of secrecy. Yeah, vai lav stress, s t r e s, stress, and they stress you. And then vai lav purses, and then they attack your purses after they've given you a little supper to eat. The last supper, they give you bread, they give you wine, and then they attack your purses. This is the blueprint of how every church works. And then they say it's tight. But they sat down at the table with Leonardo da Vinci writing this and naming it and picking everything. Not by accident. Because he understood how the system worked. So you go to you go to the Roman Catholic Church, yeah, and then they'll start speaking in a language you've listen, sometimes the Italians don't understand what he's saying. Only a very few do. Because it's a secret language. The Last Supper. At the table. What are they doing? It, it, it shows Jesus Christ in the middle, Caesar Borgay, yeah, in the middle, and equally in front of everyone. 
yeah, equal in front of everyone is is the same size mug, same size everything. Um, the the um, even the bread is equal. It means this, yeah, was the gathering, yeah, of the table. This was the share. They were sharing the spoils. They were sharing the spoils. They were dividing it amongst themselves. And then afterwards, yeah, some of them were unhappy. You can see at the table, some of them were unhappy with the shares they got. Some of them were unhappy. Yeah, and Caesar Borgay opens his arms up and tells them, well, that's all there is. My boyfriend is painting it. This is what there is. Because Leonardo da Vinci was his buddy, was his boyfriend in bed. He used to fuck him secretly, yeah, and then deny he, him being gay. And then, um, yeah, fuck him secretly. But he was there, he's brought a woman to the table that shouldn't be at the table of men. That's why women were not allowed, yeah, to, to join masonry till the other day. Yeah, how do you know there's a woman at the table? Leonardo da Vinci was so jealous, he hit her feet. Everyone's feet, even people who are stood in funny angles whose feet shouldn't show, are shown. It's to state that they are. Yeah, part of the table and they are meant to be there they have a stake at the table they have a, they have a spot at the table but this hall was brought by Caesar Borgay so he can pretend he's not gay but he's gay and then his boyfriend was forced to paint all of it and hide their secret for them There's more code to be breaking. There's more code to be broken. There's the Jinyami code. Which again, this time, it refers to a Michelangelo. A painting of David. Yeah, I'll show you where they got that from. My name is Kojo. I came to see the Sunday saw Kwesi and Akosuya to seek a breakthrough and breaking through the rock language. We started off with the code breaker breaking Da Vinci's code. We'll bring you more soon. Love you. Good morning. Actually, I read everything there from the book. Yeah, everything we went through. Yeah, there's a book called Bukyo Knowledge. What is Bukyo Knowledge? It's a book audio. You see, I make audios and I talk to you. And you could just be staring into space. And not understanding what I'm saying, or you could you could be looking on the screen trying to understand what I'm saying. But truthfully speaking, yeah, I want you to be listening to an audio and reading a book, a book that otherwise you couldn't understand. I want to engage you in many different ways, visually, sound, every way. I want to titillate you. I want to show you a new language. It's called the language of the 12 tribes. The language of tongues. It's called Ketrema. Ketrema. Full of it. Book your knowledge. It said, for the lack of knowledge, my people perish. She leans on the ledge. Let's see how angry you get. When you catch one, sir, I love you.